Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Carlos Adames and Terrell Goucher, which is on the Tank Davis Frank Martin card. Uh, this promises to be high level. A really, really good fight. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all form of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport, uh, how to bring down the house. Um, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Box. Oh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book anything. It gets you uh, access to all types of prop bets and other stuff that we didn't put on the video because they don't come out till just prior to the fight. Uh, it's, it's a, there's a ton of perks, uh, a ton of benefits that you get from the Patreon. But just the lock of the week. We hit the lock of the week every single week. It's just $5 a month. It gets you all the perks. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, all right, let's get let's get into it. Let's get in into it. Also, subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Call us Adames. I'm, a, I'm an Adames guy. So th here's the backstory with Adames. He's a high-level guy. Good skills. Good power, great athleticism. He, he checks all the boxes. His problem, and I, I've gotten this from two sources. Uh, Bob Santos told me um, that, it, you know, the fighters they had that lived in the guest house, the pool house or whatever that Bob Santos has. Um, and, you know, so Adamas lives in the pool house. And he has to strip the, that house where Adamas lives of all the food. And then he has to lock up the pantry and the fridge in his house so Adamas doesn't go in and eat all the food. Uh, he was also trained by Robert Garcia at a time. I, I asked Robert Garcia about that, and Robert Garcia just started laughing and said that he had to kick Adamas out of camp because he just couldn't control his eating. Like He had no self-control when it came to eating. Um, so I, that's kind of confirmed. So there's a disciplinary issue with Adamas. Which is my greater point, right? There's issues with his discipline. He's not a disciplined guy. He gets overweight. He gets lazy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. His work ethic. They didn't really question his work ethic. It was his commitment, his dedication. That he can't stop eating, and he misses weight. I don't know if this is still a problem, uh, but like I said, too high. World trainer of the year type trainers both confirm that there's, there's an issue with his eating. But aside from that, quick jab, hard snap, good talented, highly talented fighter, good jab, uh, really good hand speed. This guy, like I said, he's going to check all the boxes. Lightning quick reflexes. He, he's strong as heck. He commits to his shots. He throws a lot of hard shots. And he's, he's athletic. Defensively, he can make you miss. Like I said, he's, he's twitchy. He's got quick reflexes. He can sit back, make you miss, make you miss, make you miss. He can do a lot of really, really good things offensively. He's aggressive and strong off the front foot. But like I said, he can sit back and make you miss. Right? So he's a two-level fighter. I, I want you to understand, Dom is, is a... a Really, really high end talent, a, a super high end talent, good mobility and movement, aggressive risk taker, throws a, throws a lot of risky shots, throws them from long range. So he can be hit, he can be countered, but he's got good hand speed. He can switch southpaw and he can force you backwards. He can force you to show up because he's so physically strong and he's so physically aggressive. Obviously, he has some pop, he's got plenty of pop, he, he's, he, he's good. Like, um, you know, I wish he would jab and, and box a little more, use his movement a little bit, but that's not what he is, right? He's going to come after you, and he can make you miss. He can he can do both things. So on paper, he's a, he's a great athlete, a good offensive fighter, and a decent defensive fighter. He's a tough guy to deal with. The disciplinary issues, that's what's going to hold him back. The guy can't stop eating, apparently. Bad weight cuts. Does he drain? Those are the kind of questions you have to ask with Adamas. None of it has anything to do with any of his talent. He is so extremely talented. The one loss, he's 23-1, 18 knockouts. The one loss came to uh, Patrick Deshara. That was back late 2019. That's an ancient memory. Now, he is 30, 30 years old. Um, 
So I don't think the age is going to catch up to him yet, but it could. Like I said, the, the bad weight cuts, draining himself, things like that, they could eventually catch up to him. I don't think they're going to catch up to him now. Terrell Gouchet, boxer, but he's not afraid to come forward. He will come forward when he has to. He's defensively responsible behind a high guard. He's got a nice slick jab. He's difficult to hit clean. He's very difficult to hit clean. Very good fundamentally. Avoid shots well. Right? He sits in a high guard. Textbook. Like that's how you would describe Terrell Goucher. He, he's textbook, defensively responsible, tight guard, elbows in, good movement. He gets he does get too stationary sometimes. Like sometimes I, I don't know if he's falling in love with his pal a little bit too much or he, he wants to trade too much, but he'll stand against the ropes. And he's a good counter puncher, so he can do it. It's just not his strength. Like, that's not where you want him. You want him out, you want him moving, you want him using his jab, creating distance, creating that range. Nice straight shots from the outside. He's lethal and sharp from the outside. Sniper from the outside. That's where he wants his fight. He's not a high-volume guy, though. He's selective with his shots. He picks his shots. He doesn't waste a lot of energy. I, I kind of expect this fight to go the distance. Um, he's got a good jab. He's a good technician in the ring. He's just not a super athlete by any means. He's not super quick. He's not a high-volume guy. He's not a puncher. He's, he's fundamentally good. He's textbook. He's just not a he's not a great athlete or a great puncher or a big volume guy. And at the highest level, he's just going to come up short. He's going to keep coming up short. He's defensively responsible, good boxer. He's just not special, right? Like that. That's it. Like there's no. He's basic. As a fighter, he's as good as he can be. Like he's good. He's sharp. His skills are well defined. He's always in shape. He's just not a next level fighter and at the world class at the highest stage he, he consistently comes up short and I, I think we're gonna see that again. Uh all right let's take a look at what we got here. You know I like the fight to go over. I like this bet. I think you I'm not gonna bet you I, look my bet is this Adam is one and a half times your average bet whatever your typical bet is one and a half times so in this case hundred dollars one and a half times that would be 150 it's gonna make you 20 bucks it's minus 750 it's not a great bet on its own but it's a great bet to add to your parlay if you're adding things to your parlay this is a, a great bet to add to your parlay Domus is gonna beat him if you want to get a little cute you know you might want to put a little bet maybe half a bet on it to go over I like the over the over is ten and a half Minus 135, $50 bet would pay 37 This $200 bet would pay $57. Brings down your odds a little bit, makes your odds a little better. I'm not doing it. I'm just taking a dime. I'm going to add it to my parlay. I'm going to bring down the odds on my parlay. It's easy money here, guys. Collect the easy money. It's it's not great. The odds aren't great, but it is what it is. Take the profit. Go on to the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book, he comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you access to uh, prop bets and, and other stuff. And, um, Ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap breakdown fight that I haven't done, and I will give you uh, the advice on how to make money on every single fight. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it is June 14th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless.